so in this video uh, we are going to show you how to log on and log off um, click on the learning and assessment tab and where to answer your questions how the submission process works how to get feedback and how to resubmit work and the content of your work by now you would get your um, username and password so if you put your username and password and you click on login it takes you straight in um, and you will come on here on this page so this is basically your main portal um, this is to in the event of this tab you find yourself elsewhere you click on it and it brings you back here these are pages that you save it will be saved up on here and the calendar gives you a bigger version of this as you can see it's got red um, pieces in them where the reds are this is where your work is due these are your work deadlines okay so this is your equal platform this is basically how it looks like once you join in you would click on your course you would have the courses you registered on on here as you can see i've got quite a bit on here but you would have one or two or just um one on there at one time this is how you would log in and log off to log out of it you would just click on sign out if you want to watch the introductory video again um, you could just click on this and it will take you there certificates once you complete the courses certificates um, will be showing up on there however you will be sent a hard copy of the certificate as well and here is in the event you want to reset your password I solely advise that you get in touch with your um, your tutor However, if you want to just change your password, you would click on this option and it will take you. Let's try that option. It will take you onto that where you will reset your password in this sort of area. So without wasting much time, let's find our way back onto the main platform. So the due date, uh, as I've said earlier, is marked in red on your calendar. It is paramount. You keep an eye on your due dates. Um, and do not, however, sort of try and exceed them. If you're thinking of um, asking for more time, then get in touch with your tutor and you can agree a possible time uh, for a new due date. Let's click onto the course. All right, so once you click on the course, this is your course dashboard. Um, this is all the units of the course it shows the last time you um, been on it it shows the name of a course making sure in the right place um, it has the calendar here these two tabs will always stay there majority of the time and so as you can see on here it says resume so if you want to start from the resume you can start in no particular order however but you need to bear in mind that your due dates are all different as per unit so in this um, in this course, we've got eight units in total. Um, so we're just going to try and have a look at unit one. So we have learning. Now the learning tab has got information videos and on where you need to what you need to learn. You can make notes in that. So let's click on that. And your assessment is where you answer your questions. So let's look at learning. Click on the learning, and it will bring you to a page where we introduce that unit unit one is broken into five different sections which um, to read further you would just click on to view where you would then read watch some videos and some useful resources in order for you to answer the questions so you would have this one here where if you click on this it will come up with different videos click play when you're ready to watch uh, a video. where you click play to watch the video it will come up with the next bits you are making good progress through and this section now. it keeps on Leave reminding you on page where you are moving on so on unit one it's got 39 pages worth of reading material and videos to watch in the event you're watching a video and you want to make a note what you do is you will just click on this pencil here and then you will just make a note as you can see on there, I've already made some notes in there. So um, we will just put um, just a sample to so we could be able to access it. So I just put in the key skills activities. OK. 
Okay. Excellent. And we'll just add the note. What is now done is just added it to the note, as you can see it on here. And it will be, um, it will say on the unit one, section one, that's the notes we made. And to edit it, you just go back into that and you make further notes. And to delete it, you just click on that. And to save it, click on that. To minimize it, you click on this. Okay, so you will do further reading in all of this unit. And when you're ready to answer the questions, what you now do is you scroll down and you will click on learning. Learning will take you back to the original place we were before we came here, which is the the learning part. Click on back and we will find ourselves in the main part of the page. Now you will click on assessment um, after you read in it. By the way, because we've started it, it shows on here in progress, whereas these ones are not started. So let's click on assessments. Okay. So we've clicked on assessment and it's just going to load up with the questions of what we need to do. Again, these questions are broken into five different sections as per learning. So let's click on the first one and it comes up with a question describe characteristics of effective leaders as you can see i've already started with some notes so it's important that you um you put every information that you've learned on here now to pull the notes from um what the notes we made on the learning what you would do is you will click on this pen right here which says notes and then it comes up with all the notes we've already made so the one we're looking for is basically recent one which is key skills and activities so if you made some notes and you want to copy it and paste it into here all you do now is click on the pencil highlight it copy it and then paste it here okay so once you paste it there and you're happy with it i mean in the in the grand scheme of things it will have a lot more which is possibly a minimum of six lines with some supported examples you would have it on here and when you are done you would just press on this um, forward button once you press that forward button it saves it and then moves on to the next question so you come on to the next question and you will start typing in now it's got so many sections it's got uh, five sections i believe on this unit so if you want to see all of them you would just click on the review and the review will bring the whole unit every single question on unit one so once we pull review out we can see section one that's the question section two that's the question section three section four section five and once you've done with all of this you will just click i confirm and you would then click submit okay so let's talk about these color codes at the top as you can see these are all color coded this color which is that sort of amberish color shows that it's been attempted and not answered it shows in that bluish color however in the event that um, that question gets referred by your tutor it will come up as a red so these are all color coded another way is you could just start reviewing it from here and completing the work from here where you can click and it goes into that and you could just type in some work okay and let's talk about the submission process so once you submit the work here this work will go to your tutor your tutor will then review it mark it and then send it for moderation and when it's moderated it will come back to your tutor and your tutor will send it back to you if it's a pass it will have some comments on there some feedback and if it's a refer it will equally have some comments and feedback Right, so let's talk about referral ones. So once it gets referred, it will be sent back to you and your tutor will notify you that your work has been sent back to you. You will then go on go on the portal as it is. And when you go on the unit, you would see when you click on review, which we saw earlier, it will bring you here and you will see the questions in red where you need to re-attempt them again. 
what I advise you do is you would have the question, your original answer, and it would have the comments and feedback from the tutor in the next line, and it would have an empty space at the bottom of it for you to put your new answers. Based on the comments you received, some of the comments could be, can you throw more lights on it? Can you be more specific? Can you add more information? If it needs you to add more information, what you would do is you have to copy your original answer, paste it into that um, empty box, and then write your additional answers to, um, to expand it further and to make it um, the, you know, increase the chances of getting a pass quite quicker. And when you're done with that, so you would add all the additions to the relevant questions. And when you're done, you go back down there again, click I confirm and then click on submit, which will then go back to your tutor. Um, it's important that you proofread your work, make sure there is um, full stops and commas in the right places. Um, we have suggested that is I do when you see the question, you might want to copy this question and paste it into Word and then you will write your answers in Word. You can use the spell checker, um, the punctuation, the spelling in Word to help you um, make the work more clean, presentable and proofread it. You then copy and paste the original uh, answer in Word and then paste it in the empty box on here. Um, that will totally make the work more easy to read because you've used Word document which assist um, with your work. Now let's talk about a couple of do's and don'ts. Um, never press the back button here at the top of the page and never have one more than one tab of this equal portal open. Maybe in another tab have it there. You shouldn't have that because you would tend to lose your work or something may go wrong and you meant to sign on at one computer at one time. So if you want to sign on to another computer, definitely ideal to use this button here and sign out before you go onto another computer. As well, one thing we we'll advise is when you're finishing um, your work for the day, after you typed in all your research into this box, it's very ideal not to leave it like that and sign out, but what you need to do is to press this button, which moves on to the next one, which saves the previous one. And then you could go over and sign out of here. And this is the end of the video.